Hey, what's up everyone? I just wanted to give you all a quick little boat tour of my fishing boat and I've got a couple of cool boat hacks for y'all. So come check it out. All right, so this is a 2001 Bayhawk. It's not the newest, it's not the biggest or the baddest. However, it does the job for me and the Still, Still Alive boys. Um, we've got a 225 Yamaha VMAX, which I bought some new stickers for, but I'm still having a problem getting this old decal off. It's crazy. I tried using a uh, lacquer thinner and that goo gone, goof off stuff, and uh, nothing seems to be working yet. So if y'all got a solution for that, hit me up, let me know. But anyway, this is my 21 foot boat, and I've got my custom made cot tea top which I know is kind of ridiculous but it only cost me a hundred bucks so I'm happy with it and in here we've got a couple boat hacks so hack number one I've got some grip tape that I got from Ace Hardware um, I know that C deck works great um, but in a pinch the grip tape is great for when you're jumping down from this little step right here I only had to see one person slip on my boat before I went and grabbed some grip tape. So this stuff works great. Just make sure that you use some acetone or some paint thinner or something to uh, really clean this surface well before you put the tape down. I put this down over a year ago and it's still holding up really well. Second hack, as you can see, I mounted a tape measure in here. This tape measure is made of aluminum. I just put a screw over here and a screw over there. It's great tape measure for putting your fish on there. Um, I tried putting it in a place where nobody is gonna step on the fish slime in the way. So um, try and keep that in mind if you're gonna mount a, a tape to your boat. Like I wouldn't put one here because this is a, is a high traffic area. Basically people are gonna be trying to step off of this. And if this is where you keep slapping your fish down to measure your fish, it's gonna get really wet and um, really slippery. All right, so boat hack number two is get some lights. If you drive at night, get yourself some lights. I was driving at night one day and we hit a piling and knocked off the front end of my other trolling motor. This, this is my backup trolling motor. I had a nicer one up there and um, it was hanging off the edge over here. We hit a piling. Um, I, I guess I thought I was gonna navigate by moonlight and hit a piling in the middle of the lake and it was a very random weird place to find a piling but you never know what you're gonna have so getting a set of good lights is just a good hack all right the next hack that i got for y'all is get some c deck on your dashboards so this is super cool for keeping your phone from moving or when you get hooks at stuff like that put up there when you hit the gas all this stuff doesn't come sliding off because the c deck holds it up i put a couple little pieces here and here and the third or fourth hack, I guess, would be some sea deck under where your captain's going to be standing and, uh, and operating this boat. So you're going to spend a lot of your time right here, and it's great to have some padding. Another thing that you could possibly use is one of those rubber mats. Sometimes you'll see them in a restaurant, or maybe your wife has one in front of the kitchen. It's that foam uh, rubber mat. You could glue one of those here for some added support and cushion so you're, you're not beating up your heels the whole ride. All right, so my favorite hack is up next, but before I share it with you, if you've liked any of these hacks and think you're gonna implement one of them on your boat, go ahead and smash that like button and let us know in the comments which one's your favorite. All right, so every fisherman knows that when you catch a fish, it is great to have a pliers handy. I mounted these pliers with some rivets, aluminum rivets into the center console, so I always know where they're at. And they're tethered on this cord here so that way, even if my nephews or somebody uses them, they don't leave the center console. And another thing that you really want to tether somewhere, and make sure you always know where it is, is a catfish flipper. Because these things, if you run around the boat looking for a catfish flipper after you catch a catfish, that catfish is going to sting you or he's going to flip off. I actually had a crazy story. had a catfish dangling from my line. And I did not unhook the catfish. I was looking for the flippers. And as I'm reaching for flippers, the catfish does a backflip, jumps off the hook, lands in my ankle. 
the top barb of his fin gets in my ankle and he starts flapping around. Oh my God, y'all, it hit the deck. The poison from that barb went from my ankle to the tip of my head. I felt it in my whole body, was trembling. It was awful, awful pain. That ended the trip that moment. And the pain did not subside for probably about two hours. So have those flippers, very handy. You never want something like that to ha happen to you. Another tool that we like to keep handy on the boat is gonna be a net. When you get those really big redfish, some sort of trophy that you really wanna get in the boat, you gotta have that net accessible pretty quickly. Also, you don't want the net flying out when you drive. So we use these little rubber twist ties. And so with just a couple little twists, you can pull this net right out of here. We'll put a little twist on the front there with this little tie. Um, that's the, uh, that's about the quickest way that we can get our net in and out. Uh, if y'all got a better or cooler way, definitely share it with me. I'd love to know. All right, one more quick little hack for you. This is our live well. And when the shrimp are in here and people are fishing, this lid gets slammed shut a lot of the time. And I'm, I find myself frequently yelling, don't slam the lid, don't slam the lid, especially when we're in shallow water. Um, so one thing that's gonna cushion the wood of this from hitting this fiberglass here, these are like cushiony fabric, um, what do you call them? They go on the bottom of furniture. So you could throw some little furniture pads on here. Now it's still not foolproof, but that's better than the sound of wood on fiberglass. So that's another quick little hack for you. All right, one more hack that I have, a boat this size, you need to have a throw cushion on board. Our throw cushion is right here. Now this is out in the weather and will only last about two or three years. However, it's super easy to get to because it's strapped on here just with a little bungee cord. So you undo this bungee cord real quick and you've got a throw cushion very accessible right here it doubles as a seat so you could obviously sit on this your passengers can sit here you can put another one on that side if you like so they're great to have very accessible just in case somebody goes overboard i like to have it where you can see it and you can throw it at somebody really quickly otherwise where people usually keep these is down below in some hatch stuffed under you know the cast net under the other life jackets under different things so it's really great just to have this thing right here and accessible right on top where everybody can see it so the seat on our boat has this fairly dry spot for storage usually we have things like uh sunscreen and bug spray and stuff in there however i like to keep an extra dry box underneath the dashboard so this one's specifically to keep things like flashlights lighters uh, keep our whistle and our flare gun and stuff in there and when I board the boat the first thing I do is come put my wallet in or and or my truck keys in there so so it is nice to have an extra dry spot on your boat and make sure you know where you're keeping your important stuff like your wallet so that's pretty much gonna do it for our little boat hack video this is basically gonna be the before shot of when I paint this thing so I'm like I said earlier I'm gonna replace this decal over here and I'm gonna give my little boat a touch-up so we've got some scarring issues in the fiberglass here and we've got some spider cracks here I'm gonna uh, sand all this down do some fiberglass work and put some gel coat on it so this is also gonna be kind of a before shot of what our 21 foot Bayhawk looks like and um, hopefully in a couple weeks, I'm gonna have a really cool uh, video to share with y'all and some cool after photos of what our boat looks like. Thanks for watching.